Hey, Loopline here. In this video, I want to talk about scraping emails from Craigslist. Now, you can see from the date on my screen that it's February 2016. Now, Craigslist changes from time to time, so I'm not really interested in talking so much about how to specifically scrape emails from Craigslist today, although I'll do that and you'll be able to duplicate the process today, but tomorrow Craigslist might change. They've changed in the past and they'll change again. Other sites are the exact same way and you can take the same concept and theory of scraping emails and apply it to pretty much any site and get the concept and creatively scrape emails when it doesn't seem apparent at first that it's going to be able to work. If I go to Craigslist and let's just open up Firefox here, just because it's convenient browser to work with this in and let's go to uh, Craigslist and I happen to be in Detroit Michigan uh, it's gonna pull up a Detroit Michigan IP anyway so it should default to Detroit and let's just search for car cars are big in Detroit with Ford and so we've got all kinds of stuff going on here now this is with JavaScript turns on turned on this is what I see now scrape box uses sockets and threads for various uh, functions and those don't support JavaScript so Scrapebox is always going to see the no JavaScript version of things so the first thing we have to do is to turn JavaScript off but before we do that let me just show you what you're looking at if I go into an ad here the reply up here you can see I click on it and it gives me the email address here and whatever else so this is generated by JavaScript so if I view this page with Scrapebox, I'm going to see the no JavaScript version. So we have to go back here and turn JavaScript off. So I'm just going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to about config. Now this might change in Firefox. This is how it does it today. Type JavaScript and it comes up. I'm going to toggle it to off. You can see it's bolded there. You can Google on how to turn off JavaScript in your given browser. Now we can go back over here and refresh the page and we see that we get just a list. So if we go back to our same one here and we click here to reply, notice the URL up here. This is our URL right now. Before when it was JavaScript, the URL didn't change. Now if we click it, the whole URL changes to a particular page that's linked to that ad. You can see as we go back here, it takes this ad number and then it just uses that same ad number on the end of a URL with reply. So if you had a list of ad numbers, you could easily generate this. And that's one way to do it, um, but there's other ways to do it as well. So basically the first step you want to do when working with any system, Craigslist or otherwise, is turn off JavaScript in your browser and look at how the email address appears and where it appears and on what URL. Now, this is just a regular link on the page. So now I could take this here and stick it into scrape box and I'm going to see scrape box is going to see this same page so I could go to grab emails by crawling sites this is option number one and put if I put this at level one and hit start you'll see it's just basically loading this page and looking for the email and it doesn't find it because there's no email on this page so if I go level two we can see that it loads that page and then extracts all the links on the page and looks on all those pages as well and here is our reply URL right here and it found one email address on that reply URL and now if we go to export and I'm just gonna dump this here and we'll just call it this file right here and let me get that pulled up for you and we go down here and open it up we can see that here is our email address and then I had the option turned on to save the URL that it came from with it so we can quickly see that's how we can get email addresses from Craigslist so an easy way to do it would be if I wanted to search um, for car here if I take this category and this is a category I want I can obviously just replace this with whatever I want so I could take this and put in truck or whatever uh, and I'm gonna get the same thing back so you can see that the query here is a keyword the same keyword that's right here so I could take my URL and if I had a lot of keywords that I wanted to search for based off of this kind of search then I could just replace this with percent kw percent and you can read about this on scrapeboxfact.com I can link to it in the video description but I can place this in a text file and save it off so let me do that and I'll pause the video so what I did here was I just saved it off and I put this token and what happens is when we put a list of keywords in here scrapebox is going to import what we select which we'll show you in a minute and merge it and replace this right here with every single keyword so I just called this Detroit search and I saved it off and I'm gonna hit merge here and I'm going to select my 
Craigslist, Detroit search URL, and boom, it merges in that URL with all those keywords. So now I could take this particular set of keywords and then use the link extractor. So I'm just going to put this over here. We're going to go, I'm going to turn proxies off for this and go link extractor and extract all of the internal links because these pages here are just like this page here. And I'm going to extract the internal links, grab them from the harvester, internal links, and go. And we can see that we've got a lot of links here. Now, if there's more than one page, as you click next here, you can see that the URL changes. So you could actually then save off this URL and just generate also a set of URLs that have the 100, the S equals 100 here. So you can again copy this and replace the keyword with the token and do this for every one that you want. There's 2,500 listings here. If you think your search term is going to have 2,500 listings, then uh, just do this 25 times. And once you do it, as long as Craigslist continues to use this same format, then you'll always be set up and ready to go. So then you can just keep merging them in. So that's one way to do it. You could probably go into the custom harvester and build a search engine for Craigslist and use the next marker here on the page and let Craigslist actually, or let Scrapebox actually search Craigslist and browse through there and get the results. Um, I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video, but it is, um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. Basically, you just go to Harvester Engine Configuration and uh, you just create a new engine, call it Craigslist. You can look at an existing engine and see the name, what the query string looks like, um, and then the page increment, which is, again, 100 right here. Um, and then you can do all these markers and that sort of thing. If that makes sense to you and you want to do that, go for it. Or you can watch another video that I have to learn how to do that. And you could build it with Craigslist. Uh, that's beyond probably the scope of this video. So if you want to do just some basic searching, you can do it like this. If you want to go way far back, then just get each one of these URLs and stick them in your um, setup as well for Detroit search. And so I would put it here and it has the 100 again. I'm putting my keyword here. So percent KW percent. Now if I go to the next page, you can quickly see it just changes it to 200. So you could also get fancy and just generate a list of numbers of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. You probably use an online tool to do that and then use the merge feature here to merge it over as well. Just replace this part of the URL with KW% percent and leave this as whatever and hit the merge feature. If that makes sense to you, go with it. If not, then you can just do this. Um, it's probably take you two minutes to go through here and make all these URLs. And again, you can see, and once you have one through 10 done, then you just add a one in front of it. So if I wanted to do, um, once I get past a thousand, of course, page number 1400 and page 1300 and 1200 and 1100 is all just going to look like that. So this is all a lot of copy and pasting. So you can spend two minutes and do this, or you can spend five minutes or 10 minutes and go build a custom harvester engine for Craigslist, whatever you want to do. And then obviously when you go to your various Craigslist, you're just going to change this. Now, this is a concept. I can take this and use it for whatever. I've seen lots and lots and lots of sites out there that use a similar URL structure. They increment by a certain amount and they have the keyword in the URL and the directory structure is all the same. So once you figure out the directory structure for the site you're working with, then you just go with it. And you can use a combination of the link extractor. In this case, we're extracting internal links. And so I can get all of these URLs. And again, we've got all of those URLs. And if I wanted to pull in, merge in all 2,500 pages worth, results worth, I could have made this same URL and it would have made, here, let's just do it. So let's say I save this and let's, I'm gonna go back and we'll just do the first 400 results. And so let's say I save this. It'll be the first 500, I guess. And let's just get out of this and go back to our original keywords, car, truck, green, mouse, whatever. Pick this, merge, Detroit search. You can see it generates each keyword for each URL. And then I can go to my link extractor. So you see we have car, truck, green mouse, and then car, truck, green mouse is again for page two, which is actually the 100 results, and then 200, 300, and so on.
Let's pull this in from the harvester, extract internal links, and see if we can, uh, oh, got to grab these and copy them and either save them off or I'm just going to put them in the grid here and bring them in from the harvester. Hopefully Craigslist doesn't block me for using so many connections. Blah, blah, blah. Show the save folder. I'm going to go down here and just grab them all. And you can see when it extracts internal links, you could build a filter and just filter this sort of thing out right here. Uh, easily filter that out in the link extractor and go to settings and remove URLs containing. But um, I'm not going to worry about that for the sake of this video. You can see obviously here is the numbers. So those are our actual ads all the way down through here. Now, obviously, if you were to just try to scrape emails off of all the ones that aren't relevant, it's not going to matter. So I'm not going to select all these, but we'll just grab them. Actually, let's just grab the whole thing. Stick it in there. Grab emails by crawling sites. Remember, the first level just loads the page and looks for it. The second level will extract internal links from that page. So maybe you're out there on some site where you have to extract an internal link and then extract another internal link. So if you click twice to get to that, then maybe you put level three here. But I'm going to put level two. I'm going to use harvested URL list and hit start. And it's going to go through here and look for each page. And it takes a minute because it's obviously loading each one of these things and it will go through and extract emails from them. Now I didn't filter out all that other nonsense so you can see it's doing that first. Um, so I'll pause the video until it gets down to the actual results. And so I went back and turned on proxies just so I don't get the IP band. You can see an original URL here with the ad number in it. and then it goes down through here and we see that reply URL and it got an email. Not now, not all of Craigslist ads have emails attached to them, so bear in mind, you're only going to get that. But you can also see as you go through here, it's that reply URL that has it. So this is option one. Let's say this doesn't work for your site for one reason, or you don't want to do it, or whatever. To fully understand this, let's go back to our link extractor. And basically, remember we extracted internal links and from the original Craigslist search URLs because that is like this. So you go to Craigslist, you search, you get this page, which is these that we extracted. Then we went to Craigslist or to the link extractor and extracted internal, which is like clicking on each one of these things, right? So now we have this list of URLs over here, 1900 so, URLs, that's actual ad URLs. Now we need to extract internal one more time so we can get to that reply URL. So if I bring this in here and load them from the harvester, put it on internal, hit start, and get the internal links here. As it goes through here, you can see this is pretty quick and I'm just gonna stop it just for the sake of not going overboard. And bear in mind with Craigslist, your connections, of course, because obviously they're gonna ban your IP if you go crazy there. And we can see all these URLs. These reply ones are the ones we want. Remember when we click the link and we see this kind of thing here, it has reply in the URL. So part of it is just looking at the structure of things and picking things out that make sense. So now we're going to go back over here and I'm just going to copy all of these for the sake of it and put them here in the harvester grid because now we have clicked through. And I'm going to go ahead. I know that only thing I want is reply URLs. So I'm going to remove URLs not containing the word reply. And boom, now I'm down to 423 URLs with the word reply. Now I can go and now I have this final page so I could use this crawl function and extract just level one. I can also do grab emails from URL list and here is convenient because it has a nice drop down list for um, different user agents. So if you happen to be getting blocked by the user agent, then you could do this. Um, you can also save one email per domain, which is only going to save you one email on the whole domain, which doesn't make sense in Craigslist's case. And then you can save URLs with the email itself to see where the email came from, what URL and that sort of thing. I'm just going to hit start and you can see as you go through here, all the different ones that have it and we're getting forbidden errors here because the IPs are blocked on um, that sort of thing. So again, a good reason to use proxies and not go overboard on connections. So once that's done, I could export here and let's just do it for the sake of it here and go for Craigslist and I'm just going to call this AAA and let's go have a look at that file 
and see what our email addresses look like. And there we see lots of different email addresses from Craigslist. And that's how you can extract email addresses from Craigslist. And I tried to show a couple ways there, not because I wanted you to say, oh, I have to use both these ways or whatever. Just so you can see, extracting internal links is just like clicking on it. Also, crawling links through a site is just like clicking through the site. You always see with JavaScript turned off is what Scrapebox sees and look for the URL structure and you can either build a custom harvester engine for your particular platform site like Craigslist or whatever else that you're working with um, and again you can look for things like the subdomains for the different cities and that sort of thing there's lots of other things like Craigslist around the world and they probably have similar URL structures and directories and all sorts of things so looking for patterns in the URL to either make a list and use the merge function to extract URLs and crawl through the site or just making the harvester engine which we talked about there a second ago um, or whatever there's lots of different ways that you can do this uh, and get what you want and you know maybe you have to spend five or ten minutes to build the URLs once and insert the tokens so you can merge them and it's it's no big deal once you get that done and you can extract and like with Craigslist it, you know so many new ads come on every day maybe you only want to get the top 200 results and then go on there every day and extract the top 200 results every day and you already have your URLs and you could even use the automator to do that and use the link extractor to get exactly there and then grab the emails so there's a lot of different things you can do and then set it on a loop and a delay so anyways back to the point that's how you scrape emails from Craigslist and you can use the same concept to scrape emails um, and similar data from all sorts of different directories from around the world Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.